In today's world, there are over 950,000 different types of insect species scattered globally in a variety of different countries. From insects that can fly, to insects that hide underground and live in the dirt. But in Britain, there's one critter we overlook on a daily basis. A critter that is unique to its own kind. A critter like the woodlouse. Woodlice are actually part of the crustacean group and have 3,500 species globally and only range from 30 to 45 species in England alone. They can be found in mossy areas like forests, to places near water like streams or rivers. This is because the ground is nice and moist and easy to traverse on. Their body is able to perform incredible flexibility feats due to their 14 part exoskeleton, even with the hard outer shell. This helps for traversing in narrow and enclosed areas. The shell also helps for camouflaging into the ground and protection against predators. This is why you tend to see woodlouse curl up into a ball when provoked for further protection. A woodlouse's predators include insects like spiders, to birds, woodlouse mainly feed off decaying plants because they are herbivores. They sometimes feed off living plants, but very rarely. Their consumption of the decaying plant matter actually helps with the carbon dioxide cycle. To get better observations on the woodlouse, I've set up a miniature habitat environment for them to examine their behaviour. From examination, I could tell the woodlice did not like it as different from their typical dirt floor. This is why the woodlice scampered around a lot and even tried to escape. I also tried to shine light on the woodlice, which they did not like. This is because the woodlice is very sensitive to light. This is why you tend to find woodlice under covered objects. This also protects them from weather conditions such as rain and strong wind, and also from predators. Thank you for watching. And hopefully this has been a factual documentary on woodlice's behaviour and how they act.